going. Watch that right there. <laughs> Welcome to another adventure with Minor Biker and the whole crew today. Got my wife, got both dogs, of course got our RE bicycles, even though both of these ones still say Fez RE on them. We are dropping into what is called Grass Creek. We're right on the south end of the Pavant mountain range. And we're going to descend down through Grass Creek here, which will join us into the middle of the Pole Creek drainage, which then we'll follow Pole Creek or Pole Canyon down to where it joins up with Clear Creek Canyon, which is the one that I-70 goes through between Richfield and I-15. That's where we're at, heading down into Grass Creek. And as you might guess, there's some grass down here in Grass Creek. Definitely plenty of grass and plenty of water here in Grass Creek. Gorgeous to be up here. This is time of year before the cows and stuff, man. That was a deep poo. <laughs> hey, both, both the dogs just took a full on dip. I hope you can see that on the GoPro. <laughs> both the dogs just walked along and thought that was just a nice little creek to take a little soak in. Found out it was a couple of feet deep. <laughs> they both dropped all the way in. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyways, as I was saying, wonderful to be up here this early in the season before they put cows in here because it definitely looks like you do get quite a bit of cow traffic in this area and while well, it would still be beautiful there's absolutely no doubt that the cows detract greatly from the beauty of riparian and wet meadowland areas like this hate seeing beautiful beautiful areas just get decimated by the cows every year at least this one we're here to experience it before the cows show up and hopefully someday things will change to where the national forest is not just the national grazing pasture and hunting ground which is pretty much what it is especially around here you'd be more cautious now bud check see how deep the water is before you just jump in <laughs> Here are our bike tracks from on the way up because we are doing an out and back ride. We're actually going to try and loop around and come in to the top of the upper part of Pole Creek. But found out there's actually some private property up in there. It was gated and posted. So weren't able to make that connection, so instead we're just heading back down the way we come. Might try on a future ride adventure to see if we can come at the main part of Pole Creek from the other side maybe. Get up around the swamp. Crazy how wet it is. Of course it is only the middle of May. After a decent winter. There's plenty of water that's for sure. Some may have noticed already, but I have resurrected my old Fizari Wasatch Peak Hardtail. I rode this little bike for quite a while, a few years ago. I rode it a lot. And then it got temporarily retired, stole all the parts off of it, framed his tongue on the wall in the garage, but it's all back together again now. Now I'm actually pretty stoked to have it back. I like this little bike. There's something just beautifully simple and pure about riding a just a good little hardtail.
going. Uh, whew, got it. Good little tip climb. He almost messed me up by getting in the way. part we'll have to do in another adventure either out and back it or see if we can loop it with some four-wheeler trail or something from the other direction so let's to avoid that gated and posted private property that was up in there that was not shown on the forest service map so i was quite surprised when we encountered it sections are pretty cool up in here. You are one lucky squirrel. <laughs> that little dog was only about a foot behind you. <laughs> First of many times you'll cross Pole Creek on the way down this. Although most of them are not rideable. <laughs> most of these creek crossings are way too rocky and chunky to ride through. Big bench trail heads up and out of Pole Creek to the east right here. She's in there. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Kicked up a rock there. over those really holy baby head First time ever coming up into this canyon. It sure is pretty. Reminds me a lot of Joe Lot Creek. Not far from here, just across the other side of Clear Creek. Going up into the Tushers. A very similar feel to that. Also a similar feel to 10 Mile Creek around on the east side of the Tushers. Similar to that as well. Both magnificent trails, magnificent adventures. Make sure to check them out.
Amazingly, this is the only winter filled tree we found. Good job, buddy. Oh, this is so pretty in here. Gorgeous canyon. Oh dear, I just picked up a pine cone or something. Yep, pine cone. <laughs> oh, I made that corner. Yeah, those big ponderosa coming.
Hey, buddy. Ah, all these beautiful trees and shrubs just leafing out in here, it's getting so green. This is kind of cool. There is actually a very, very old cabin here in Pole Creek. A very old, ancient old axe cut logs, almost completely rotted away. But nevertheless, the remains of an old cabin. Here with the doorway right there, you can see some remains of what would have been roof timbers. Very, very, very old. enough traction even with the big plus tires. Down. Especially on a hardtail, I really like plus tires.
So if anyone was wondering how I've got my hardtail set up now that it's back together, pretty simple. Obviously, the Fazari Wasatch Peak aluminum frame. Then we got a 130 mil travel MRP ribbon SL fork. SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain with my Pedaling Innovations Catalyst pedals. And then we've got 27.5 by 3.0 plus tires got some specialized ground controls on there is what we're running right now with a silent onyx rear hub that's just kind of the basics trp brakes like i really like love those so that's kind of how that old hardtail is running anyways thanks everybody for watching hopefully you enjoyed that little adventure a little bit disappointing we couldn't make it around the loop at the top we were hoping to but we ran into that no trespassing locked gate up there so oh well we try and Try and be good, respectful people. So we'll do a little more research on if we can get around to the top of the main fork of Pole Creek from the other side. If we can access that from a different way and come back for another adventure and ride the main part of Pole Creek and then all this lower stuff again. Definitely have to come back to finish the job that we weren't quite able to do today, but we still had a great time up there in Grass Creek in the lower part of Pole Creek. So. Thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to check out the other videos that we linked in the cards in the upper right corner of this one, especially the ones that I mentioned that this trail kind of reminded me of, like Joe Lock Creek, 10 Mile Creek, and also 8 Mile Creek, which is over in the canyons range over between Scipio and Holden. That one's a cool canyon as well, and this kind of reminded me of that also. Check all those out. Leave us a comment down below, like that hit button, check out Ari Bikes, and as always, Keep digging up new places to ride and adventure in the great outdoors under your own power is always the best it's starting to sprinkle